We're going to use Sparrow Wallet to run some UTXOs through Whirlpool. Let's go. We're going to open up our software wallet to set setup wallet that we just set up. As you can see, I've uh, loaded it with some different uh, transactions here. Um, I have about 210,000 Satoshis total. So what we're going to do is click on the UTXOs tab on the left-hand side, that stands for Unspent Transaction Outputs. Um, all of your Bitcoin exists in unspent transaction outputs. So here you can see I have three transaction outputs, one worth 100,000 Satoshis, another worth 100,000 Satoshis, and one worth 10,000 Satoshis. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and shift click Click on one, shift click the other one, and shift click the third one to select all three of them. And then down here, you'll see a mix selected. I'm going to click on that. And here you'll see the introduction to Whirlpool. Uh, you can read about this at a later point, but I'm going to click on next. Next, what it's telling you is it's gonna enable some different tabs over here on the side, which I'll show you after the fact. Here you'll be able to select your transaction priority. Um, as you can see, it doesn't matter what I select because I am running on testnet. So no matter what, it is one sat per vbyte transaction cost. So we'll leave it there. We'll click on next. It's going to fetch the pools. Here, if I had over uh, a million Satoshis, I could select the, the next higher pool. I believe they have um, different UTXO sizes. One is 100,000. Another is um, 1 million, another is 5 million, and they may even have 50 million. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so here I'm going to select the only one that I can, which is 100,000. So I'm going to add all three of these transactions into the 100,000 Satoshi's pool. Um, in on set is preset to 5 UTXOs. I'll explain that later. The fee for doing this is going to cost 5,000 Satoshis. That's not the transaction fee. That is a fee that's going to the uh, coin join coordinator, which is Samurai. And then at the end, it says we will get two U2EXOs, both worth 100,000 Satoshis. So we'll go ahead and preview it and take a look. So as you can see, it's enabled a deposit account, a premix account, a postmix account, and the bad bank. And here you can view the transaction. So here I'll explain what's going on to the best of my ability. So this is a 5,000 Satoshis. Um, and as you can see, it labels it the Whirlpool fee that is going to the coordinator to Samurai. The second one is the bad bank. So this is the leftover that could not, it was not large enough to go into a coin join transaction. So that's going to be sent to the bad bank. Um, it's the bad bank because if you, use that and combine it with any other transaction, it will um, be a visible on chain and they will be able to see that whoever has this bad bank transaction also had the the inputs that went through the uh, coin join. Kind of complicated to explain. Here's our first transaction that will come through and go into the premix wallet. And that is 100,302 Satoshis. That 302 is the fee. And the same here, 100,302, that is the fee. So those are both going to be sent to the premix as 100,302 sats. From there, they'll go into the premix pool and they'll be mixed and end up in the post-mix pool. So let's go ahead and click on broadcast. All right, so now you'll see on the full screen, we'll get some notifications up at the top here that we've got some deposits. It's um, deposit, bad bank, and premix. So all these different accounts here on the left-hand side are getting different things. So you'll see the transactions in the unconfirmed state. And you'll see unconfirmed is minus 210,000. And now we'll wait and we'll pick up when those are confirmed. 
All right, it's been some time, and we have the first confirmation, and you can see that um, the deposit account has nothing in it now. The premix account has 200,604 Satoshis. That's comprised of two transactions, adding up to that. The postmix has nothing still. That will happen after the next confirmation, uh, assuming that there is uh, liquidity partners in Whirlpool, but you don't have to do anything for this. In fact, you shouldn't do anything with this until it moves over automatically to Postmix. Um, and then you have this in the bad bank. This is a complicated subject, which we can get into in, in another video. Uh, for now, we're going to wait uh, for the next confirmation, see if we can get these uh, two UTXOs moved into uh, the Postmix wallet. And after there, there will be no link from before to after um, with regards to the UTXOs. All right, we're back before the next confirmation. As you can see, uh, we have this blue progress bar here. It says, joined a mix, uh, if you hover over it. Uh, and what that means is it is in the running if, if everything stays the same and nobody disconnects on the other side. Um, we're going to get this UTXO here mixed and in the Postmix wallet. Um, so stay tuned and I will follow up on that once it happens. All right, we're back. It's a couple days later now. And as you can see, there are no more uh, UTXOs in the Premix wallet, which is a good thing. If you go over to the transactions on the Premix wallet, you'll be able to see the input and then this one when it left and then this one when it left. So when it goes out of the premix, it goes over to the postmix wallet. And you, you go to the UTXO tab, you'll see both of those here. The value is now 100,000 instead of 100,302 sats. It's an even 100,000. Um, and as you can see, it's been sitting here for quite a while. Um, as I mentioned, it's been a couple days. Um, and it's mixed. Uh, it's been in, participated in 40 mixes for this UTXO and 38 mixes for this UTXO. Um, here we can go ahead, go ahead and click on Mix 2. And then if you have another wallet open, um, you can select that here. Say if you have a cold storage wallet um, from a hardware wallet or just another software wallet, you'd be able to select uh, Mix 2, that wallet. Um, the min minimum number of mixes, you can set that here to whatever you want. Obviously, these ones have already been through 40 and 38 uh, mixes. So after three mixes, you would have the potential to mix to the hardware wallet. It's not guaranteed just to maintain some uh, deniability. Um, I think it's 75%, yeah. So once it hits three mixes, the next time it mixes, there's a 70% chance it'll mix out to the other wallet uh, for no fee. Um, the fee is already paid. It gets paid for by the uh, newcoming joiners to the Whirlpool. Um, you can also set an index range here on the mixing. So um, where that becomes useful is if you have the same wallet set up um, on a mobile device using Samurai Whirlpool or just another machine using um, Sparrow Wallet. You can have one set to even and one set to odd, and they will never step on each other, um, which could be useful. Uh, with that, I think I'll close this video out, and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Uh, be sure to check out my uh, website, twosatsetups.com. There you can subscribe to the RSS feed and um, provide value for value uh, using the um, podcasting 2.0 value for value model. Um, and click support to direct support me. Thanks.